Hi, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm just going to do a quick little composite. I'm going to take this picture and combine it with this fairy here and create a little fairy world. And it didn't take too long. It was pretty easy. Uh, I found this fairy on Pixabay. I'll leave the link in the description below for you. Uh, first thing I wanted to do, I'll turn her off for a minute. First thing I wanted to do was to kind of change the lighting on this picture. So I came up here, layers, new light filter layer, and lighting. And I changed the type to point and got rid of the specular. Made it a little smaller, so I'm trying to bring the eye over here. The source of the light in this picture is the flowers. They're going to have kind of a glow to them. So we're going to change the blend mode to multiply to. There we go. And you can shrink it or grow it, whatever you want to do. And now we're going to add the fairy. Oh, let me drag this down there so it's not affecting her. All right, now let's add the fairy into the picture. And the first thing I need to do is flip her around. So arrange at the top and flip horizontal. Make her smaller and I'm going to turn her a little bit and I want her to be kind of looking at the flowers. All right, now let's blend her better. First thing I'm going to do is come down here to adjustments and go to gradient map and drag that down and add it to her layer, attach it to her layer. And uh, I made a video on how to how I use gradient maps to blend colors. I'll leave a link for that in the description below too if you want to watch that. But basically the red over here is shadows, the green are the midtones, and the blue are the highlights. And so we're going to take colors from the background image here and add them to her so that she blends a little better. So let's start with shadows. Just click on the red, grab the eyedropper, and find a nice shadow color. And click on it. And now let's find a new midtone. Um, one of these purples, I guess, and click on it, and then highlights. We'll just come over here, and there we go. Okay, now I'm going to change the blend mode. Sometimes I use multiply, sometimes overlay, sometimes soft light. In this case, I kind of like overlay, and you can adjust these if you think you need more shadows or more highlights you can always add also to fine-tune it I think we're gonna leave it just like that so that is the before and the after so now she just sort of takes on the colors of the background blends a little bit better all right and we also want to give her her own lighting because I want I want to create some shadows here on the wings and on her feet. So go to layer, new light filter layer and lighting again. And make sure this one is underneath her, attached to her layer. And then we're going to swing this around and bring it over in front of her. Because this is where the light is coming from. So we want it to be in front. And let's, there we go. And you just play around with these until you get it the way you want. So that's what I want. I want the shadows up here and in the back, but I want the front of her to be lit up. There we go. All right. And I want to blur her a little bit. When I do, it's going to rasterize it. So it's going to get rid of these, but that's okay. So I'm going to click on the blur tool. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And make sure the flow is kind of low. So we'll bring it down to no, about 19, I guess. It might even be too high. Okay, make it a little bit bigger. And just brush on the tips of the wings. Oops, I went too far. And her feet. There we go. The more you brush, the blurrier it gets. So we want to do the really blurry parts at the very tips here. Less blurry elsewhere and no blurry in the front. It's giving me trouble. 
There we go. Don't why sometimes it does that. There we go. All right. So now she has a little more depth to her. All right. And now I wanted to add some fairy lights. And when I originally did it, I made a new layer. You need to make a new pixel layer. Just come down here and click that. Add pixel layer at the bottom. And get the brush tool. And originally, I just picked a soft brush, and I just kept changing the size manually and clicking it around. But that wasn't good enough. So I played around with that brush until I came up with one that did what I wanted. Let me show you what it does. If you just drag it, that's how it looks. Some will come out less opaque, less opaque than others. Some are smaller. Some have a little bright spot in the middle. You know, it kind of just looks like fairies or fireflies. But um, when you drag it, they're still a little too close for me for this picture. So make sure you've got white paint and your brush tool and a new layer. And you can just click on the screen and it just randomizes it. But they're a little more farther apart. That's what I wanted. I didn't want them so close. And I, I put this brush up on my website so you can download it if you want. I'll leave a link for that too. Well, that was pretty easy. And these are look good as fireflies. All right, let me show you how I changed it. All right, that's that's enough. Sometimes you just can't stop clicking. All right. Now, to make it even better, just click the E for the eraser tool. And make sure the opacity up here is pretty low. 38 is pretty good. And our brush doesn't need to be quite that big. So what we want to do is we want to pick some of these and just go over them with the eraser. And the more you brush on it, the further in the background it goes. So this one's really far away. It's barely there. And we'll make this one far away. This guy can be far away too. We want some to be further and some we want to just leave the same so they can be close. Even some of these can be a little different. This one can be really far away. That one's kind of far away. This one can be close. This one can be close, but this one should be far away. This one's really far away. It's barely there. This one's a little further than that one. This one's close. But see how it gives it some depth there? I like it. Now there's an easy way to do that. All right. Now I want to add some shadows. Because I want to really focus the attention here. So, the way I did that was I made a new layer, and with the brush tool, this time I got just a plain, big round brush. Get nice and big. And I got about, yeah, we'll use 70% black. I never use total black, 100% black. So, I always just use one of the darker grays. To make my shadows so let's brush this on where we want it you can always go erase some if you do too much sometimes i can get carried away and then change the blend mode to multiply and if it's not dark enough if you want more shadows it's really easy to just control j and duplicate the layer and you can change the opacity of that one but we're going to leave it up and then you can take this layer, hold the shift key, and click the other shadow layer, and then do control G, and it just makes a group. And then we can name it, we'll name it shadows. All right. Now, I wanted to make some light rays, kind of coming in from the side. So I'm gonna go over here and pick a shape, any shape. We'll do circle. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit, but, um, just gonna draw a circle or ellipse, I guess, and make it white. And then come over here to filter, colors, and procedural texture. And I'm adding a texture so that the light looks more broken up. So click on presets and come down here. And I usually use ripples, fur, lava, or oils, sometimes droplets. We use droplets. You can, yeah, the more white you have, and the more, if you use black, it's going to disappear. So the more whites you have, the more beams you're going to have. So we'll, well, we'll try it like that. And you can change how big or small they are. 
play around with it. Okay, we'll click apply. Let it do that. And then we're going to come back up here to filter and blur and then zoom blur. We're going to move that over. You can actually drag it right off the picture. And just put it in any direction you want. I think I'm going to do it like this and then I'm just going to have to make those a little bigger. Okay, so down here, the slider only goes to 100. So click in the box and you can go all the way up to 1024. And we're going to do about 800, I think, for this one and click apply. And sometimes that takes a minute. Seems to be going pretty fast. All right. Now I'm going to stretch these out a bit. They were too small. And I'm going to drag this behind my shadow layer there. That way it blends in with the shadows better. And I'm going to change the blend mode to screen. And I'll probably change the opacity here a little bit. Uh, there we go. And now you can take, I think I'm going to make a mask. You can use the eraser, but if you make a mistake, then it's easier to fix if you just use a mask. So go down here and just click right there where it says mask layer and make a mask on your light rays. And then get the paintbrush tool and get black paint and lower the opacity though. That way you can just sort of brush here and there. And some, you know, the more you brush, the more they disappear. So don't brush too much in one spot, but just sort of brush around. And some you can brush all the way so they're gone. And some not. So then that way they look like they're falling back behind her and in front of her. And you can even blur this more if you wanted by adding another blur layer. But I think I like it the way it is. So we're going to leave it that way. I think I might, though, try and change the color. So let's go to Adjustments and Recolor. And we want to drag that down until it's inside the light ray layer. And I want to see if I can make them a little more yellow or gold. That's too orange. So if you keep going, then it's too green. All right, let's change the lightness. And we are going to change the blend mode to usually linear burn. Let's see what else. Sometimes glow. Where's glow? Nope, not on this, not this picture. That one's not bad. Soft light, overlay, I don't know. We'll do soft light. Every picture's different. <laughs> no. Okay. We probably will change the opacity of that though. Let me go back to it. Yeah, there we go. Let's lower it a bit. All right. All right, now I want to brighten up the image a bit. There are a lot of different ways to do that. I think for this one, we're going to do brightness and contrast. Just up the brightness and up the contrast a little. And that worked just fine. I think our little fairy needs to be, let's see. No, I like her back behind the behind the light rays. I thought she might need to be in front of them, but I like her back there. And that is how easy it is to make a fairy wonderland. It's just a quick, easy way to do it. And I hope you found something useful in this video. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more. Thanks for watching.